Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome. Happy Thursday! The weekend is almost here. Tomorrow's Friday. Rejoice! Rejoice! You've almost made it! Kev, thank you very much! Thank you, thank you for the contribution to the community challenge, the bear cam. Let's see where we're at for that. Where are we at? Ooh, okay. We've only raised 24% so far, I guess. People like goats better than bears. <laughs> Must be the case. So we've got, let's see if I click on this. We've got 29,320 beans so far, but we still have 24 days. So there's still time. There's still time. So welcome, Kev. It's good to see you. Are you ready for some more Siberia? Are you ready? We found Oscar, but I didn't want to put that in the stream title because uh, if there were people out there that didn't know, I didn't want to spoil it. Spoiler it for them. <laughs> so how are you doing tonight, Kev? What's up? What's new in Kev's world tonight? And where is my game? Why is it black? Game! <laughs> Why did it stop loading? There we go. All right, let's dive in. Continue. Okay, Autumn 2005. Kate discovers the Vaga Music Academy is in a terrible state of disrepair. And the Dean is an extortionist. <laughs> he will only help her if she fixes the mechanical musicians on the Central Square. Luckily, Kate can now count on an old friend. Sorry, guys, I'm hearing something. Okay. <laughs> I was hearing something behind me, but it's fine, apparently. So, we will continue. So yeah, that's what we did on the last stream. We fixed um, the piano in the square and uh, we played it. And then all of a sudden Kate was like, because <gasps> she recognized the tune as the same one from her music box that she got from her mother, that her mother has had ever since Kate can remember. So let's, and the music box does not look like a music box. Where'd it go? Documents, inventory. Where's the music box? Oh, it's right there. It just looks like a necklace. So yeah, this is the music box. Yeah, music bird. <laughs> that seems more fitting, but they're calling it a music box. So yeah, she recognized that tune. It's like, <gasps> how did we get this? It won't stop the Academy from closing. But at least, thanks to you, the Automatons will have given the most beautiful swan song. Alright, so he gave us Dana's file from the Academy. Um, that was the last thing we got, and now it looks like we're going to go to where she used to live, I think, is what we're doing. Twenty Bridge of Mists. Dana's address in the 30s. Yeah. All right. So that's where we're off to. Anything else we should do before we leave here? 
So that's the famous Vaughan Music Academy? Yeah, it's looking a little worse. (laughs) It's looking a little the worse for wear these days. Oh, dude is singing the tune. I'm pretty sure we already looked at this. This is from the town council. Bunch of jerks. All these letters. They look like letters of formal notice. They probably haven't been paying the bills for some time. Was there something up here we missed? Uh, oh no, I think I remember getting that. Yeah, we read that. Okay, just wanted to make sure that we covered all our bases before we took off. So we have to take the tram to go to Dana's old address. Might be good if I switch scenes, huh? That's kind of an odd camera angle. <laughs> there we go. That feels a little more normal. It was kind of like cinematic there. I just wanted to look in this alleyway again. Because it shows the, um, the drawing in the cement that we did as Dana Rose at the beginning of the game. I was hoping that she would say something about it, but she just looks at it like... <gasps> it seems a little better than writing Dana was here or something like that. sure we've also looked at this but just in hmm. case looks like this district has been more modernized than the antique shop district the whole city looks amazing all right so we need to go to dana's old house The final con- achievement unlocked! The final concert. Does that mean we won't get to hear that amazing piano again? Because when Kate played it, it was like cut off because she was all like, <gasps> you know. Ding ding. Let's see if we see anything new this time on the tram. Seems like every time we take the tram, there's like something new to see. I love how they switch it up like this. That might be it. Oh. 
I say, this is a very unpleasant way of traveling, Kate Walker. <laughs> I know, Oscar. I promise I'll let you out as soon as possible, okay? <laughs> Nosy lady. Rukadur Nebel. I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong, but so be it. Okay, Oscar. Now we have to find Dana's old house. Do you recall the number, Kate Walker? According to her registration form from the Music Academy, it was number 20. Okay, so we're looking for number 20. The bridge is exactly the same as it was back in the 1930s. Except that it's cleaner. It looks almost <laughs> new, as if it had been renovated. That's cool. Hello, people. Oh, they don't seem to want to talk to us. Thirteen. Fifteen. All right, we seem to be headed in the correct direction. Seventeen. Oscar 2.0! <gasps> we can use this? Can we look at it? We can only use it. I was not conceived to perform this function. <laughs> Impossible. I'm afraid you are mistaken, Kate Walker. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. I feel like we have to do something with Oscar here. I don't seem to be able to turn the camera to look like sideways there. Oh, let's look at this house over here. 18. 19. And we have an alleyway over here. Oh, not an alley. What is this? Looks like the residents on the bridge are pretty mad at the town council. Yeah, because the town council sucks. <laughs> Calling all residents and retailers of Vaughan. Love our Bridge of Mists, outside and in. We, the undersigned Bridge of Mists Welfare Committee, hereby protest against council policy to turn Vaughan into a museum town. How were they doing this? By granting public funding uniquely for exterior renovation with the aim of attracting as many low-cost chain stores as possible. This unfair policy is to the detriment of homeowners, our quality independent shops, and the craftsmen and women of the Bridge of Mist District. Why should we all care? Because Bridge District property owners are having to live and work in, in insalubrious conditions, and this despite repeated appeals to the council to set up a fairer funding program that covers interior renovation. If we let the council continue with their unfair policy, there will soon be no residents left in the bridge district. 
There will be nothing but pretty facades, hollow shells, and cheap souvenir shops. What to do next? To maintain our community spirit and quality independent shops selling true Wagen craftsmanship, we petitioned the council to urgently set up an interior renovation funding program that puts Wagners first. It is to be noted that the only previous funding for Ridge District interior renovation dates back to just after World War II. It was hurriedly carried out following the partial destruction of the bridge during the liberation of Wagen. Today, the vast majority of bridge properties are unfit for human habitation. Join our lobby for interior renovation funding for our historic bridge buildings. Okay, so there's a meeting at the town council, 10 o'clock Monday morning, November 21st. Keep our community safe and our beautiful town alive. Hmm, so what that means is that the house, the home that uh, Dana lived in is probably very much the same as it used to be when she lived there. So this is where Dana grew up. I wonder if she'd recognize the town of her childhood today. I think she would. That is, if she's still alive. The musical square looks like it's turned into a tourist trap, whereas in the bridge district, it seems like time stood still. It's quite eerie, really. Like if the neighborhood were artificially frozen in time. I love how they've integrated these scenes into the game. This is amazing. What an amazing looking place. There's number 20, Dana's old house. Oh wow, and it's got the swan above it. Find out the latest news of Vagen. Talk to the saleswoman at the Heigl shop. Okay, what's this? Oh. It looks just the way it did in the 1930s. Can I talk to this woman? No. Okay, can we go in the store? Guten Tag, Fräulein. <laughs> that sounded really funny. That is some pretty interesting music. It's like you're getting close to something. All our gifts are handmade by craftsmen in Wagen. Nice.
Made in Wagen. There's a lot of stuff in here. More gifts. I would have preferred it to still be full of paintings, I think. Yeah, that would have been neat. Except we saw the paintings, they were on the train. Find out the latest news of Vagen and talk to the saleswoman at the shop. Can we find out the latest news of Vagen? Do we have to do that before we talk to her? We will come back. I just feel like there was a lot out here that we didn't explore. Nothing like walking up, I can't even see my character. Nothing like walking up to a couple of people having a conversation, just be like, standing in front can't of them. Can't leave now. There are still things to do here. There are. There are absolutely still things to do here. Hmm, okay, like what's this here? Oh, we can go down here. What's this? In loving memory of all those who lost their lives that terrible night. Some of the names are covered up with dirt. How can I clean it? I don't think I have anything that I could use for cleaning. Kate Walker, are you intentionally <laughs> trying to damage me? Sorry, Oscar. Okay, so maybe we'll be able to clean that up at some point. To all the inhabitants of Wagen, a severe storm is expected to hit the town from this evening and during the night. The municipality recommends everyone to remain at home with the shutters firmly shut and to cancel or postpone any plans for going out. All cultural and outdoor activities, especially those on the Dombre and the surrounding mountains, are prohibited by municipal decree, decree for an extendable duration of 24 hours. Municipality of Wagen, Department of Tourism, Culture, and Rec Recreation. Protests in the neighborhood and a big storm coming tonight. I yes. sure wouldn't want to be in the mayor's shoes right now. Anyway, I'd better focus back on Dana. All right, so I found out the news. Nice. I still think there was more stuff that I haven't done yet. What's across the road over here? Oh, I'm looking back. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this is the shop right here. Let's go back in. On holiday in the region, Fräulein? Just passing nope. through. <laughs> well, welcome to my little gift shop. Frau Heigel at your service. She sounds British. I noticed you were looking at a souvenir, Fräulein. Yes, you have a wonderful choice here, Frau Heigel. Your shop is beautiful. Thank you. All our souvenirs here are pieces of craftsmanship, as we like to say. All by local craftsmen. Do you wish to buy the souvenir, Fräulein? Well, I'm actually looking for someone, not something. Someone who used to live in this house, and I was wondering if you could help. 
Well, there were quite a few owners before I bought the shop last autumn, so I can't really... So her name was Dana Rose. She lived here before the war. I was hoping to find some kind of trace Look of at the woman outside. so I could continue my search. I see. Well, I have heard of the roses, but I can't say if there's anything left of them inside the house. But don't you live here? No. My husband and I live in the suburbs. You see, the bridge was sacked just before the war, during the pogrom against the Vagrans. Oh, truly awful events. And then the neighborhood was bombed, just after the war during the liberation. And many of the houses were damaged, including this one. They were hastily renovated after the war, but they remain mostly derelict. You mentioned a pogrom against this neighborhood's vagrant community. Can you tell me more? As much as anyone who knows anything about Vargen, I guess. It happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. A few months after Austria and Ostertal were annexed by the Brown Shadow. What happened? Well, the Brown Shadow organized riots against Vagarans on false pretexts. It led to pogroms throughout all the annexed countries, including what is a this pogrom? house. Were the Roses home when it all happened? Like I said, Fraulein, I don't know, but I hope not. I feel like the woman standing behind Kate outside the, outside the window, she seems, I don't know, significant. Well, it doesn't look like the house was damaged from what I can see. Your shop is charming, and so is the rest of the district. Thank you. That's because after the initial renovation, the council financed major rehabilitation work on the facades. But if the truth be told, they left the proprietors to foot the bill for our interiors. That's why my husband and I had to spend all our savings so that the shop interior shows the same high standard that we demand of our suppliers. That's a shame. Yes, and if the council persists in refusing to help fund the renovation works, there won't be any residents left on the bridge, let alone independent quality stores like mine. There'll be nothing left but bland franchise stores, like the one further along the bridge or on the musical square. Hmm. So between the pogrom, the bombing, and the whole house being renovated, there's little chance of me finding any trace of the roses. It's not quite like that. To be honest, we didn't have the funds to renovate the rest of the house. So we used the upper floors for storing. Really? And now that you mention it, I do recall coming across old photographs from before the war, here yes. and there in the house. The yes. successive owners didn't want to throw them out. And I suppose they must have left them there. Who would you is mind that guy? if I went upstairs to take a look? Unless you would kindly bring the photos down yourself. Well, I can hardly leave the shop unattended while I go... I don't even know you, Fräulein. <laughs> I see. In that case, would you mind if I had a look upstairs myself? Don't take it personally, Fräulein. But I don't know you enough to trust you. I'm very sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, Fräulein, I have a customer. Ah, oh, harsh! I conjecture that you were inefficient in trying to persuade the shopkeeper, Kate Walker. How are you going to access the upper floors now? I don't know, Oscar. By getting creative, I guess. I conclude I can trust you on that score, Kate Walker. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. So now we have to find a way of getting through the service entrance. Okay. And the service entrance. Oh, that smells so good, Bear. Can I have one too? He just sat down with a coffee, guys. It's a sad coffee. It's a sad coffee? Oh no. <sighs> I guess I'll have a sad coffee. <laughs> that means it's decaf. <laughs> it's right in Frau Heigl's line of vision too. 
I'm going to have to draw her away if I want to sneak through that service door to the upper floors. Okay, so we have to distract her somehow. What can we do to distract her? If I could manage to draw Frau Heigl this way, I'd be able to get through the service door and to the staircase without her noticing. But how? Oscar. Oscar, yes, Oscar. I'm sorry, but there is nothing I can do for you here. You can too. You could like roll around and talk. No. <laughs> Just no. That doesn't work. No, I don't think so. So I don't Wrong have... One. I don't have whatever it is I need. All right. Can I pick something up and put it over there? Made in Vagen. Excuse me. I must just serve the gentleman. You won't even talk to me. How rude. Can I talk to the dude? <laughs> Did you guys see that? He just like tilted. <laughs> when I walked up to him. Let's see if he'll do it again. No. He's fixed. <laughs> so the game mechanics are mostly better than Siberia 3. <laughs> More gifts. I would have preferred it to still be full of paintings, I think. Thanks, handsome. All right, let's head out outside, see if there's anything that we can find that could help us. <laughs> Twenty five percent, thirty one thousand beans raised. We're getting there. So I didn't walk along this side of the street before. A book about Vagen's history during the war. Maybe that sounds it could be good. useful later. Yeah, yeah. Buy it. Buy it. <laughs> How do we buy it? <laughs> Can we steal it? How do we obtain this book? A book about Vagen's history during the war. Maybe it could be useful later. I'm sure it could. You vote for stealing? It doesn't appear to be an option. Ah, uh, we seem to have gone as far as we can. Uh-oh. Must have got it wrong. It won't work. Better try something else. What? Ah, I put a coin in it! Ah, I can't believe I didn't think of that. Um, game? There we go. Okay, what do we do now? <gasps> what is it? 
A cheap souvenir? <laughs> One thing's for sure, this souvenir wasn't made in Wagen. Whoa! That's one shrill version of the Hymn of Wagen. Yeah. Definitely. Made in Arganzal? Okay, that doesn't mean anything to me. So what do we want to do? Cheap souvenir was added to my diary. Okay. Can we use it to distract her? There we go. Ka-ching! Oh yeah, pretend to be looking at the merchandise. She'll never figure out that it was Kate who did that. <laughs> What's that awful noise? Excuse me, sir. That guy seems rather interested in Kate. Oh, there it is. How awful. That certainly doesn't belong yeah, in my so shop. so weird. We don't sell such cheap and tacky items. Go, okay, go! She's kind of a snob, that Great. lady. I don't think Frau Heigl's noticed a thing. Why don't you try to locate Dana Rose's room, Kate Walker? Then you can look for more clues about her. Good idea. Let's just hope Frau Heigl won't come up. This is awesome. Okay, definitely using this room for storage. What do we have here? This is where Frau Heigl must take her breaks. Nice old TV and record player. Oh, what's this? The Roses and the Zimmers. In remembrance of the eternal bond between the Roses and the Zimmers. Signed, Adam Z. That's something. dark in here. Hardly surprising with those windows boarded up. Hmm. So the windows are all boarded up. Oh. It's a hot spot. More stock for the shop.
anything else? Trying to see if that hot spot is for the door or if it's for. Yeah, it's for the door. Okay. Old bathroom? Hey, yeah, don't they need to have a functioning bathroom in here? <laughs> Somewhere? Hey, Heartless! We did! We saved Oscar! How are you doing? I'll show them to you in a second when we leave this scene here. This photo shows the house partially destroyed. Must have been taken after the bombing that preceded the liberation of Wagen. Oh, we have a date. May 1945. You're not doing so great? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, I'll show you Oscar. This is, this is Oscar, whoop, right here. <laughs> Oscar. He's not quite looking like himself. You can talk is to him though. All right, Kate Walker? Yes, Kate Walker? I'm counting on you to transplant my mechanical heart as soon as we come across an XZ2000 automaton. So yeah, we put his heart in this little critter here. And he's not very I'm happy so about glad it. He's back. <laughs> but Kate's happy. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, Lucky Stars. Is that the same brand of cigarette that we kept seeing in the last game? Am I hallucinating or imagining things? Is that the door we came in? Let's see if there's anything else in here. No, this was the door we came in. So we want to go this way. Can I look over here? I don't get a hot spot over there. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, we're back out in the hall now. Let's go further up. So would this also be a bathroom? How many floors does this house have? So this is also a bathroom. Bet you the broken mirror is <laughs> broken mirror. The broken mirror is uh, symbolic of something. Surely they could have like done something up Nothing here to of clean this up. Here. Really? Come on, Kate. birds in here. They could at least close the window or put some boards across the hole in the floor. <laughs> oh? Just what I needed. Ah, the picture of Dana. Okay, how can we get over here? There we go. A double bed. Plenty of space. Must have been Dana's parents' bedroom. So where is Dana's room, then? The number of rooms don't add up. And another toolbox. How many toolboxes have we seen in this game? Ta-da! 
family picture? Nothing written on it. A family portrait? That must be Dana with her parents. So I think I have to go back through the bedroom and the bathroom. <laughs> Get back to the stairs. I wish we could switch characters and see this the way it would have been when Dana lived here. How many floors does this house have? It's been bricked up. Most likely during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigel spoke of. I want to get up there. Do you think we'll get up there? There's got to be something there. Okay, so the picture of Dana was in here, I think. Over here. Achievement unlocked. Where is her bedroom? Huh. The bedroom in the background of the portrait must be located in the attic. Aha! Hey, wouldn't there have been a kitchen somewhere? <laughs> in the attic. Okay. According to the light and the clock behind Dana, her room must face north. Okay. That's it, Oscar. I think I know where Dana's room is. Enlighten me, Kate Walker. Well, one of the photos shows a bedroom that's not on the second floor, right? And we know that the staircase was bricked up during the renovation and led to another floor. So that's got to be where we'll find Dana's missing bedroom. It seems plausible, indeed. It does. And if we're lucky, the room might be pretty much like Dana left it all those years ago, and potentially with clues to put us back on her track. I've just got to find a way to get to that third floor bedroom. Seeing as you failed to create a positive bond with Frau Hegel, the next rational step would be to take a look outside the building, Kate Walker. You're right, Oscar. Let's go and see. Okay. Um... But there was a ladder upstairs. Can we look at that first? Like seriously, I saw a ladder. I don't know, maybe it's from uh, <laughs> working in the mines. <laughs> She's put on some muscle. It's all muscle. She's solid now. There's the ladder that I saw. Uh, it just doesn't go anywhere. I forgot to move the camera around when I was looking around. Yep, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Can we sneak back in without being noticed? And how are we going to get past her to get out the front door when she's got like a bell above the door? Or do we just not care at this point if she sees us? I don't want to talk to her again. I'm afraid. Okay. I 
have no idea which way north is. Let's go over here. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm guessing that north is this way. Oscar, I need your opinion on this. Looks like that fire escape staircase serves every floor of the house. That is correct, Kate Walker. Perhaps you should find a way to use it. You think? Better try something else. I was just trying to look. So what do you think, Oscar? I think I would have liked the body with longer front legs. <laughs> I was talking about the window up there. Must be I Dana's see a piano. Room, right? Oh, of course. There is a high probability that you are not wrong, Kate Walker. We just have to get the ladder to get to the to get up there. Okay. Looks like the staircase serves every floor, including Yeah, Dan. we established that. I conjecture that you are probably right, Kate Walker. But it doesn't go all the way to the ground, am I right? Well, we can't get to the staircase from the first floor windows. They were bricked up. Alright, anyone see anything here? I don't seem to be able to actually back out of this scene. Oh, wait, hold on. The second floor windows will be of no use to reach the staircase. Indeed, Kate Walker. All the windows you could have used are obstructed. Okay. That's not gonna work. What about all these vines and stuff? So, windows, no good. Oh, what have we here? The ladder to the first floor is up. It's too high for me to pull down. If we could find something to grab it with. Looks like there's a mechanism up there to lower the ladder. <laughs> She's thinking very, very slowly. <laughs> Okay, now what? Oh, what's this? That drain pipe leads to a ledge that leads to the staircase. Yo, Oscar! <laughs> According to my calculations, the drain pipe will not hold you, Kate Walker. And even if you were lighter, the ledge is too narrow for you to stand on. Hey, are you trying to tell me something, Oscar? <laughs> yes, you are too heavy and too <laughs> wide, Kate Walker. Before the ledge. Gee, thanks, Oscar. 
Oscar. So basically, it's not going to be easy to use the staircase to get to Dana's room. I know someone there who could no climb up there. Access is denied from inside the first and second floors, and the third floor stairwell is bricked up. The fire escape staircase is the only possibility, Kate Walker. But you cannot climb up the drain pipe because of your weight and size. I heard you the first time, thanks. You are welcome, Kate Walker. So, the only way up is by the fire escape staircase, and that means lowering the ladder from the first floor. And who could do that? Oscar? <laughs> Bear, could you allow that, please? <laughs> Let's well, go, in Oscar. That case, there's only one solution. As you're so light and slim, Oscar, you'll have to climb up the drain pipe and walk across the ledge for me. Then you just need to activate the mechanism to lower the steps so that heavy me can take the staircase <laughs> route. Uh-oh, it looks like it needs a key. I was not made to climb up drain pipes, Kate Walker. I am a precision-made automaton. Come on, Oscar. You saved the day more than once at Baranor. It must be second nature by now. But how can I lower myself to scurrying like a... a rat? Because you're a fine fellow and my faithful friend? <sighs> he is so unimpressed. Oh! Oh, we're playing as Oscar now! Kate Walker, help! I believe I'm stuck here. Oh! Oh, this is so cool! You can sometimes switch between Kate and Oscar to do so press. Okay! Okay, this is so cool. Stay calm, Oscar. I'm coming. Can we put him? Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Climbing like a common squirrel. This is a disgrace. Everything okay up there? Yes, Kate Walker. I don't ah! need to. Ah! Hang on tight, Oscar. Oh, I am Kate Walker. Believe me, I am. <laughs> you gotta jump now, Oscar. Hurry! Well done, Oscar. Glad that you're safe and sound. I guess that's one way of putting it, Kate Walker. I'm also glad you haven't lost your positive attitude. <laughs> Oh, okay. That useless body. Now I must find another way. And climbing up all over again. Be careful there, Oscar. Where the heck are we going? This is a bird. That can't be good. No, oh, dear. <laughs> Miss Pigeon. <laughs> Madam Pigeon, then. I beg your pardon. Now, Madam Pigeon, would you be so kind as to make way? <sighs> I guess I'm going to need help here. Okay. I. I'm going to need you again. <sighs> How am I supposed to get rid of that pigeon? Pick up a rock. <laughs> really, Oscar? You can't get past the I pigeon? can't throw it at the pigeon. But maybe I can use it some other way. Why can't you throw it at the pigeon? Why am I throwing it at the pipe? Sorry, Oscar. I'm sure we could throw it at the I pigeon. Guess. So are we going down the stairs now? Now, maybe this body will be useful in the end.
That was awesome. <laughs> Yay, Oscar! Okay, now we just have to break into the window. Locked, of course. <laughs> oh, come on, Kate. That doesn't work. Kate Walker. If I were meant to be used as a cannonball, I would have been given a fuse. This is highly irregular. Tuck your head in, Oscar. One. If Hans Borrelberg could see me now, two, how? Three. We broke. The we used Oscar to break the window. Oh, so wrong. Undignified. Oh my. Oh my. Really? Is this any way to treat an intelligent automaton? Really, if Mr. Vorlberg could see me now... He would say, you've saved the day again, Oscar. You've exceeded all expectations by far. <laughs> I don't think our bag looks like it's big enough. For Oscar okay. to fit in there. Let's try and find out what became of Dana after she left the refuge. Hmm. No doubt about it. This must have been Dana's room. We look at the music. No. Dang. What's this? A part's missing. You into had more. Then I thought, write myself reminders. Interesting. Oh, I'm not ready to leave. Not by far. So much to explore. It's from the Music Academy. Oh? What have we got here on the back? Music symbols, but they don't seem related to the diploma. Mm-hmm. So we have, um, what's this, a bass clef? And I don't know what that is, and what that is, and there's a note. <laughs> I used to know these things. I have forgotten. Oh. Okay. So... It was the code to open up the lock by the looks of things. What just happened? I think I'm missing a note, uh, a something, a something. I'm definitely missing a something. It's the second second symbol. Okay, let's get all the rest. So, this should be... that right there. <laughs> I figured it out faster than you can type. So, we just have to figure out what this one is. I guess we can, like... just um, try each one until we get the right one, but before we do that... 
Let's have a look. What's here at the end? Nope, won't work. Oh, okay. I guess I should use some of the clues I collected. But I get the feeling there is more to find in the room. Okay. Nope, won't work. I guess I should use some of the clues I collected. But I get the feeling there is more to find in the room. Nope, won't work. I guess I should use some of the clues I collected. But I get the feeling there is more to find in the room. Okay, so maybe we'll go back and... It's blocking it. It's blocking it. <laughs> yeah, because it's a lock. That's what it does. <laughs> Maybe we'll look around the room some more and then come back to it because she seems to be telling us to do that and I don't want to hear her say that with everything we try. Come on, show me the teddy bear. Teddy bear! There's something oh. underneath. We're not looking Can't at the teddy bear. We're looking under the bed. Can't Just be lift that it up. Heavy. Yeah, lift it up. You've been working in the salt mines. You can do it. Perfect. That's better. Oh, so is this a sketch of how to make the lock? Now that I think about it, Yunta had more influence on me than I thought. I now write myself reminders as she suggested. Oh, what the heck? The room was ransacked and pillaged during a pogrom of the brown shadow, I guess. God, I hope Dana was away that day. Let's look Now's over not here. the right time to leave. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we found everything we were supposed to in the room. No doubt about it. This must have been Dana's room. I want to see the music. Show us the music! Did the diploma disappear? That's not it. It's from the Music Academy. Music symbols, but they don't seem related to the diploma. Okay, I think that's all the hints that we're going to get. It won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. <laughs> Am I missing something, guys? It won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. Does it look like something that I'm just not recognizing? Uh, it won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. Oh, come on. I'm sure it must be the right combination of symbols. 
Oh, I must have missed something. Uh, maybe the symbols aren't the only thing I need to set on each wheel. The symbols aren't the only thing I need to set? Hmm. What does that mean? It's blocking it. Oh, I could swear I found the right combination. What else could I set on the wheels in addition to the symbols? That's a really good question. What else could I set in addition to the symbols? Okay. If we look at it from the end. Yeah, this does not like where the things are sticking out. This does not look right. The wheels on the lock seem to have different heights. I wonder why. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> So what do we have to do now? Hey Dan, welcome! I'm doing well, thank you. Except for this puzzle, which is um, a lot more difficult than it looked at first. <laughs> Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four at the top, and then a flat piece, and then one, two, and then another flat piece, and then <laughs> this drawing is terrible. One, and then another flat piece. <laughs> Yeah, my drawing looks nothing like it. <laughs> nothing, nothing like it. This is, hold on. I'll bring this back up. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it does look like. <laughs> Well, this puzzle we thought, um, or at least I did anyways, I thought I had it. We found something with these um, different symbols on it. Um, but apparently that was not it. That was not all that we had to do. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, I think from starting from this one looks correct. This must be where the arrow is, right? So that we have a starting place. So one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, and on the diagram, it looks like where the arrow is, is indicated by this here. I was wondering why that was a slightly different color. So that gives us a starting place. So this one has to be down. So can we? Oh, it is on there more than once. Oh, that is so sneaky. So is this correct now? No, it's still not correct. This one at the bottom. 
has to be down and this one has to be up oh gosh okay so at the arrow but I can't even see the other side <laughs> I can only see like one two here <sighs> Ah, uh, how are we supposed to do that? <laughs> okay, only... We only need one to be up in this spot, so we have to choose one of these two and move it. So let's see if we've got another base clef here. Alright, let's see now. Now we've got this one sticking up. Okay, so let's try moving this one. Is this any better, guys? I'm not sure what changed. Or did nothing change? You think nothing changed? So then maybe it has to be this one? <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> I think we're well on our way to making them all stick up now. Okay, wait. Did we get this one up? I think this one popped up. So this is correct, except we need, we need this one to be in and we need this one to be in. I don't know, let's try randomly moving stuff, I guess. That didn't help. Oops. This is correct now. Look at that, guys. It's a different color. 
So this is definitely correct. Which one is that? I think that's this one right here. So that's definitely correct. <laughs> and we can't have any others at least over here that are raised because we need to be able to see that. So, okay. That's something. And... We need something here. Yeah, hashtag progress and not something there. So not something there, that would be what? This spot? It is. Okay, so this one is definitely incorrect, so. Let's move that. Is that correct now? I think it is. I think that's right. Yes! <laughs> That was super hard. That was super hard. It's blocking it. No. Are you serious? Nothing stuck. Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a bit much, game. It's blocking it. Oh my god. Ta-da! Woohoo! <laughs> that was a lot of work. We found a teddy bear. Yay! So how are you doing tonight, Dan? Did I already ask you? What's up? What's new in Dan's world tonight? We just broke into this house, by the way. We're looking around upstairs. This was written not long after her time at the refuge. A letter Good from stuff. Leon. So he did write back to Dana after the expedition left Kantar, the capital of Valtayar. You know it. <laughs> the High Plateau of Baltayar, October 25th, 1937. My, My darling, darling Edelweiss. Edelweiss. I hate myself for not sending you news more often and for not being able to receive news of you. Yes, I find holiday. myself now where probably no other modern day human has ever ventured before. I regret to inform you that I won't be able to go back to Europe with my fellow survivors. What? Why? The, uh, no! You can't just leave it there! Come on! Why can't he go back? And survivors? Survivors of what? Oh, we get to see. Something bad happened during the expedition. I, no doubt, am partly to blame. Nevertheless, I would like you to know my version of the events. After hard days of hiking, we set up our base camp on the threshold of a high valley where rhododendrons grew. All the witnesses seemed to concur. This was where the Gorun, the famous man of the mountains, was most frequently sighted. For many long weeks, we explored without success every valley and mountain surrounding the camp. Autumn was approaching, the rivers started to freeze at the edges, and the prospect of having to head back with nothing for our toil was becoming more and more apparent. The joyful banter of the first weeks was no more. The men were becoming moody and tense, especially our chief, Reinhard Berger.
keep going, Leon. Tell us what happened next. Dan, I have no patience. Up we get, Leon. Another day on a wild goose chase. I'd better get kitted up before going out. <gasps> we play as Leon now! Whoa! Sweet! Hmm. Horst has already left. The scolding that Berger gave them yesterday about their lack of results in tracking down the Gorons really got to him. Oh, they built a cage! I thought that was a drying rack so they could, like, catch fish and dry it and stuff. <laughs> Silly me. Sour's thesis. From what I understand, he accepted to work for the Brown Shadow because they were the only ones who would finance his research. What a waste. Faust? Goethe's Faust. One of Junta's posh friends, Murnau, if I remember rightly, turned it into a film about ten years ago. I think the poor chap's dead now, though. Hmm. Looks cozy there. I think it's kind of wasteful having the lantern lit during the day, mind you. Rations? These biscuits don't compare with old Gustav's cooking, but at least they fill you up. The hungry mountaineer's best friend, provided you have a strong pair of teeth. <laughs> We got food, we got water. Uh-oh, what's happening? Must remember to fill it up before I leave the camp. Okay, then. Must remember to fill it up before I leave the camp. We don't have water. We have an empty water bottle. I ought to bring all the equipment together before I take my bag. A machete? This is not looking good, guys. Hope I can get back to sketching the valley, but with Berger putting on the pressure at the moment, I doubt it. The letters I got from Dana before leaving Kantar with the expedition. It's tough not to be able to receive or give any news since leaving civilization. Okay, so what is this? Drawing book? Nineteen thirty seven expeditions. Expeditions before nineteen thirty seven. <laughs> Expedition, okay, page two of two. That summer at the refuge. The mountain refuge, okay. Samples from Ostertal's Mountains. The group makes progress. The Origin Expedition, Autumn 1937. If only my hand could write what holds my heart. Beltiar. Is that it? That didn't feel very enlightening to me. We have a camera. I'm so glad Junta lent it to me. I was able to take wonderful pictures behind Berger's back.
we grab a shovel? No? Take the bag? Better get going before. Do you know what time it is? Time to be heading out? Enough! You couldn't care less whether we find the Gorons or not, could you? Well, mark my words, Copatis. You'd better change your bloody attitude. Ooh. Um. You know full well Hus and the Brown Shadow forced me into this. And besides, my mission was to guide you and the rest of the expedition here, not to get involved in your harebrained research. <laughs> I couldn't give a damn. Everyone has already started except you. So you just get your butt upstream and help Sauer carry out his research. The idiot is capable of getting himself lost again. All right, all right. I'm not your enemy, you know. I... I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation, Leon. If we don't find a specimen of the Goron, the brown shadow will... Look, just go find Zawa, please. Now! Okay. All right, so he's worried about the brown shadow doing something. Poor animal. Berg has gone out of his mind with this search for the abominable snowman of his. The mountain's dangerous and we're prepared for the worst. I only hope we don't have to use it. Oh, there's a lot to explore here. Not what you'd call cute, this Gorun. Just as well they haven't found it yet. <laughs> Anatomical chart of the mythical Gorun. Gertrude, April 8th, 1937. So who is Gertrude? Can't have been easy for Bauer to leave his daughter just after she was born. Ah. This medal must belong to Bauer. He must have left it behind when he turned in for the night. Bauer's daughter. I sometimes forget I'm not the only one who left behind someone dear back across the mountains. Oh yeah, let's get some water. <laughs> we can make soggy biscuits. Achievement unlocked. Be prepared. Yay! With this, I'll be able to venture out for as long as it takes to find Sour. How long do we expect to be gone for? Where did Sour go? Go and find Sour. We got in trouble. Hmm. No one here. Bauer and Jaeger must have already taken off in search of the Gorun. Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy handed with the alcohol these past few evenings. Morale of the troops is at an all time low. Oh, what have we here? Oh, gosh. Not another locked chest. Is this Bower's stuff? What was the date for his daughter's birth? It was April 8th. Oh, 
1937. Thanks, Bear. So you think it's 0408 maybe? Understand the brown shadow's anger should the expedition fail. That being said, I urge you not to hold it against Herr Berger or my fellow scientists. If blame there is to be, then look rather to Leon Cobatis. His lack of goodwill has become increasingly apparent throughout. Indeed, it would come as no surprise to me if his intention was to sabotage the whole expedition right from the very outset. Wow. Wow. All ship shape. Typical Bauer. Okay. Dirk. There's nothing more to do here, I guess. I should leave the camp now. You'll have it coming, Bower. So we've got this cage over here. Which direction do we go to leave the camp? <laughs> this way? This looks like the correct direction. What's up now? Uh, better get going. Why did we hesitate? It's like when you go to delete something and it and and you get prompted like, "Are you sure? Are you sure you really want to delete this?" And you're like, well, <laughs> "I was sure until you asked me. Now I'm not." Autumn is here. We'd better leave the mountain soon, or we won't survive. Anyone there? Looks like someone's left their gear up there. Better check it out. Where did they leave their gear? Oh. Okay. Whoever it belongs to must have left in a hurry to have left it behind. Stopping to read in the middle of the wilds. That sour <laughs> all over. One of us must have stayed here. For a rest, maybe? One of the scientists must have stopped for a rest here. Most probably Sauer. But what made him leave in such a hurry that he left behind all his gear? I'd better have a look around to find out what happened here. What on earth is that? It's a handprint. That mark must be what caused Sauer to stop and rest for a while. I'd better head out and try to find him to clarify the situation. 
It was the Yeti. The Yeti did it. What in God's name is that? Is is what? Sour? What in the world? Shh! Look what I found! <gasps> Is that a... A Gorun! Yes! It's a Gorun! I heard him cry as I was taking a break near the path! Hurry! We must go fetch the others! You go! He looks injured! I'd better stay and try and reach him before the current carries him away! Right, Leon! Okay! But don't lose him! Uh-oh! Oh, I feel like this is gonna go badly. All right, little fella. Don't move. I'm coming to get you. Uh, do you think there's a mama nearby? Current's too strong to swim across. Better find another way. Hmm, the trunk isn't very thick. Can we use the machete to cut, cut this down? Seems a little too thick for a machete. <gasps> Not the time to get a dunking. It has me all tense. Take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to look at your wound. Um, what can I give him to show I mean no ill? Um, biscuits, machete, or water. I'm thinking not the machete. Should we give him the biscuits or the water, guys? Both? I'm gonna try the biscuits. No? There you go. Be afraid. You're all right, fella. <laughs> How far back do I have to go? Good boy. Eat up, fella.
So he is it's wearing good, clothes. It? Leg broken. I just want to look at it, all right? Look, little fella, if you let me see your wound, we can have another biscuit later, yes? It's broken, all right. It must be very painful. You're a brave boy. If I could clean the wound and brace your leg, we should be able to get you back to camp and make it better. Hold on. I'll be right back. Just be patient, little fella. I'll be right back. Okay, so we need to apply a splint. There's two bits of driftwood washed up there. Looks good. Anything else? No, I don't want to walk back. Oop, what have we got up here? That mark. Judging by the shape, it must have been made by the Gurun, probably before he got injured. I wonder what it means. I need to find something to make a splint for the Gorun. Better be quick. I could use those creepers to tie up the Gorun's splint. They seem to be stuck. Do I have to move this farther? Here we go, fella. This is going to sting with. Yeah, like he can understand. Oh. There, wasn't so bad, was it? Now we just need to find a way to get you back across. Oh, what's it doing? What's he doing? Hey, did you do that, little fella? Well, <laughs> better drawing than talking, huh? get out there in the first place. Now we just have to wait for the others. Uh -huh. 
Huh? Ah, oh, you want another biscuit? <laughs> you learn quick. It was a young specimen, my darling Dana. Almost like a child. And as soon as we made eye contact, I knew this was a creature endowed with reason. Uh-oh. I feel like this is gonna go all bad. When my companions joined me, I immediately sensed we did not share the same point of view. They seemed blinded by the discovery. They couldn't see the individual. Uh-oh. It was clear the young Goran wasn't a person in their eyes, just a subject for study. In their excitement, they seemed to lose all common sense. What is wrong with it? Well, he's in a cage. <laughs> fruit, have some fruit. You shut him up in a cage. What do you expect? He's frightened. Shut it up, or I'm going to gag it. What's that? Mom? I'm thinking it's mom, <laughs> or dad, or both. Gorn's mother, if we give it back, she'll probably leave. And deprive us of an adult specimen, you mad. All right, Mama. Look at the size of her burger. Wound her, and we'll never get her back alive. Who said we needed her alive? They can't all be live specimens, can they? No! Why not? You all right? What happened? But he... he's killed Burger. What? How? Bauer, wait. Y you saw. It was an accident. He was going to kill the Gorin, sir. So I... I had no intention to... Shut it, assassin! Assassin?
Uh oh. Oh no, now we have to escape. That stone looks sharp enough. If I can reach it, maybe I can cut myself free. I'll bring him some soup. We can't let him starve to death. Bastard doesn't deserve food. Typical horse, eh? Always the good Samaritan. Aren't you afraid I was going to run for it? They intend to hand you over to the authorities in Kantar for the murder of Reinhard Berger. Doesn't surprise me. I came across a letter from Bauer that made me the scapegoat for everything that's gone wrong. Bauer had been planning this for some time now. Well, that's not how it's going to be. I don't agree with what you did. But you don't deserve what Bauer and Jaeger intend for you. Is he gonna help him? You must pretend to be tied up. Wait for them to fall asleep. Then take your gear and get as far away from here as possible. Hear me? Yes, but what? So this is an unexpected turn of events. I never expected to be following Leon's story here. So there you have the full story, my darling Dana. I don't know what will become of me, where my escape will lead me over the coming weeks, or what my life of a murderer on the run will be like. Imagine receiving that. But always remember that my love for you is as strong as ever, and that my greatest desire is to hold you in my arms. I love you more than anything in the world. Leon, your alpine lover. <laughs> the name that we chose. Oh my goodness! Dana! What's wrong, Poppet? Lena, come quick! Dear Diary, so much has happened since I received Leon's letter a few days ago. I'm slowly recovering. Today, Papa and Mama told me that I was going to leave for a while. I'll explain what's going on, but I don't know where to begin. I need to gather my thoughts as I finish packing my suitcase. Oh, I was right. <laughs> She's pregnant. 
Uh, pack the sanatorium brochure. Pack the photo of your parents. Pack your cough medicine. I knew it. The medication to treat my cough. Mama is forcing me to take it again since I collapsed after getting Leon's letter. I should pack it. Alright. I'm assuming we did. Oh, rocking horse. I was planning to give up all my old toys and dolls. But now I guess I'm going to need them in a few years. Yep. I need to finish packing my suitcase before we say goodbye, dear diary. What have we got here? As I said, dear diary, I'm leaving tomorrow. Papa and Mama are sending me to a sanatorium out of town for a few months. They say it's for continuing my convalescence. In other words, to send me and my secret away from prying eyes. My parents have accepted the offer from their longtime friends, the Zimmers, to pay for my hospitalization at the sanatorium. The Zimmers said it was in the name of their long friendship with Papa and Mama. But I think they feel bad that they can afford to flee Wagen in the brown shadow, whereas Mama and Papa can't. I just had an idea. I just had an idea. The Zimmers can't have children. The ideal summer and winter resort in the most picturesque and enchanting spot looking over the River Dombra. Well, let's hope that's true. What have we got here? Embroidered handkerchief? Oh, I wonder if we're going to find that as Kate, or are we finding it in the trunk right now? Come on, Dana. There were enough tears already. You were done crying. Papa and Mama have locked me up in here since they discovered my condition. I'm going to miss playing the piano while I'm away, let alone going to the academy. I hope you're well, Leon, wherever you are now. I thought I heard yelling, like, outside her window. What are we taking? Poor Papa and Mama. Over they parents. were devastated when the doctor they called after I collapsed discovered my secret. That secret I dared not speak about to anyone. Not even you, dear diary. Now I can tell you. I'm pregnant, dear diary. Leon is the father. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of tears and screams when the doctor told Papa and Mama, but 
they finally decided to pretend that the baby will be the foster child of a missing relative. I know everyone expects me to feel guilty, but I can't help thinking of names. If it's a boy, of course it'll be Leon. To bring his father good luck. And if it's a girl, I think I'll call her Anna. Why isn't she under the covers? Why is she laying there? Like, that looks cold to me. <laughs> Why is she lying there like that? It was a warm I'm night. almost done here. I just need to add my medicine and the brochure Herr Zimmer gave Papa and Mama. Oh, and a little souvenir of them would be nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was snowing outside when she looked out the window. Well, that should be it. All I need to do now is to conclude my diary entry and hide it somewhere safe with Leon's letter. Well, I'm thinking it's gonna go in here. I'll put you away in there as soon as I'm done, dear diary. Better to keep you safe than risking to lose you where I'm going. Okay, where was the diary again? It wasn't there. I can't remember where the diary was. Oh, here it is. Now you know everything, dear diary. It is now, I guess, the time to say goodbye for a while. I wonder if her parents regretted sending her to the mountain refuge. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All I can hope now is that Leon will survive winter in those faraway mountains and that he will find a way to come home and clear his name. We will wait until then, me and the baby. You guys think he came home? They do such a good job at these transitions. Me and the baby? Do you still think there might be a family connection between you, Kate Walker? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it's definitely plausible. Well, all I know is that my family on my mother's side came from Europe. Well, like a lot of New Yorkers, right? I, I don't know from where exactly, but... And then there's the music box my mother left me, which it turns out plays the Wagen anthem. I mean, it all seems so... so magical. Almost like destinies at play. 
or a coincidence, Kate Walker. <laughs> the law of coincidences states that the more an individual is liable to believe in coincidences, the more coincidences happen to them. But then there's the fact, the fact, Oscar, that everyone keeps telling me Dana and I look so much alike. Mm-hmm. What do you plan on doing now, Kate Walker? According to the diary, Dana left for a sanatorium outside of town. The records might tell what became of her and her baby. But before we go, there's something that's been bothering me. What is it, Kate Walker? The pogrom that Frau Heigl told us about, the one during which the house and the neighborhood were ransacked, happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. Dana said that she was leaving for the sanatorium for a few months at the end of 1937. Indeed, Kate Walker. So it is very likely she was safe and sound over there when the pogrom occurred. Yes. But what if... What if she was home with her baby? I need to be sure before we leave for the sanitarium, Oscar. We need to search the neighborhood for more evidence. All right, Kate Walker. Where you lead, I will follow. As long as you don't forget your bag. <laughs> Trust me, Oscar. You're the only friend I've got right now. I ain't losing you. So we have to search the neighborhood now? Find out about the pogroms. Threats riddled with misspellings and signed Frank Hoss, a Aww. member of the Brown Shadow who added in for Leon at the refuge. What Looks a like jerk. He never forgave them and was after Dana during the pogrom. Indeed, Kate Walker. But the very existence of this message could mean she wasn't home when those tragic events occurred. We're getting close, but it's not enough to draw conclusions yet. So, according to that letter, Dana was supposed to stay at the sanatorium until December 1938. Looks like there were medical complications. Okay, dear Hair Rose, please accept my heartfelt thanks for the new donation Herr Zimmer made to our institution on your behalf. Therefore, it is my pleasure to inform you that Dana can remain with us until December 1938, as you asked. It is indeed the most reasonable thing to do regarding the deterioration in her health. Please rest assured that we will continue to keep good care of her. Yours sincerely, Sister Magdalena, Mother Superior of the Baden. Baden Sanatorium? Hmm. That's a good clue, I guess. But I need to find more. Dana's initials. We were on the other side of this wall earlier, Kate Walker. It's like we've gone through a looking glass. I do not understand, Kate Walker. Forget it. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you say so, Kate Walker. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. If you say so. Is there anything else? Why is it important to notice that we were on the other side of that wall? Like, we're not going to bust it down, are we? I already looked at that. The room was ransacked and pillaged during a pogrom of the brown shadow, I guess. God, I hope Dana was away that day. I think we're done here. So I think the next thing we have to do is, like we're looking for evidence, find out about the pogroms. I was going to say go to that memorial and see if we can clean it and 
read the names. Um, <laughs> we're not. Oh, maybe it was over here. Maybe I went the wrong way. I did go the wrong way. Okay. This. We just have to find a way to clean this. Auto, Pfeiffer. What if? What if? Vogt, Weiss. Dana isn't mentioned here. Ackerman, Fisher, Yorga. I can't find Dana here. Keller, Meyer, Ortel. I'm getting close. Some of the names are covered up with dirt. How can I clean it? Dana isn't mentioned here. Keller, Meyer, Ortel. I'm getting close. It did, didn't it? Surprisingly so. Anton and Lena Rose. Anna's parents. Oh, God. They were killed during the pogrom. Is Donna Rose also mentioned? It doesn't look like it, no. But I need to be sure. Okay, how can we be sure? There's more to find out. I already read that. We can read that book. I bet you we can do that now. This one over here. Huh. According to that book, the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. Okay. September 15th, 1935, anti vagarian laws are passed. March 12th, 1938, Ostertal is annexed by the Brown Shadow. November 9th, 1938, the Brown Shadow organizes a night of pogroms against the Vagarian community and especially its members living on Vagan's Bridge of Mists. October 30th, 1943, the Allies declare that the an annexation, annexation of Ostertal and Austria were null and void. April 13th, 1945, Allied forces led by the Red Army liberate Vagan after intensive bombing. April 28th, 1945, Ostertal's independence is proclaimed. So can I turn the pages or anything? No? I think that's it, Oscar. We know that the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. Dana's parents, Anton and Lena, were killed, that's certain. But Dana was supposed to be at the sanatorium back then. Which seems to be confirmed by that message Herr Hoss left in the house, Kate Walker. <laughs> exactly. So I guess we're done here, Oscar. Let's take the tram back to the guest house. We'll try to find that sanitarium first thing tomorrow. To the tram! <laughs> Well, I mean, 
It must be kind of tricky to talk to him when he's all rolled up in a ball and flattened in her diary. <laughs> So, there she is. The famous Kate Walker. Who's this? Sorry, what? Donna Rose. What? What? I knew her very well, you know. Our Donna, darling. Waiting for the tram, aren't you? Well, we'd be better off speaking at the guest house. I hear there's a storm coming. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Walker. Colonel Blake. Colonel Blake or Fräulein Junta? <laughs> Connecting the dots, are we? You're a very clever young woman. Oh, Junta's still but here. But you must be eager to know why I'm here in front of you, bearing the surname of one of Her Majesty's military officers. <laughs> <laughs> but here's our tram. Would you be so kind? <gasps> no, he didn't just say that he can't eat gravy, Dan. <laughs> Are you like so tired you're delirious? <laughs> That's what you just heard. <laughs> oh, achievement unlocked, unexpected encounter. <laughs> Gravy is delicious, Dan. If you come us if you come to visit us, we'll make sure that we have some poutine while you're here. <laughs> Oh, they're not going to talk on the tram. I'm disappointed. I wanted them to talk on the tram. All right. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, we're going to get back to the guest house. And then I'm going to end the stream there. Oh, here we go. Now they're going to talk. So, Miss Walker, you've been rather quiet. I would have thought you'd have some questions for me. No? Uh, yeah. What's what's up with the Colonel Blake thing? Would the place be a <laughs> They probably look at you funny, Dan. I read that you used your prestige as an artist to spy on the brown shadows of the UK before and during the war. So, what is your real name, then? Junta Steinhoff or Colonel Blake? Janice Blake is my name, Miss Walker. It's not the sort of name the Brown Shadow would have trusted, I'm sure you'll agree. So I took my mother's maiden name as an alias. Both my parents were diplomats from Austria, you see. So you were some kind of double agent? You make it sound more romantic than it really was, Miss. But yes, I guess one could say so. You mentioned the guest house. Are you staying there too? Indeed, Miss Walker. It's actually Frau Wagner who told me about you. When she told me that you were looking for Dana, I knew I had to talk to you. Frau Wagner told me to call the Academy, which I did, and the Rector then redirected me towards the Bridge of Mists. And that's how I ended up wandering up and down it, asking about a mysterious American woman <laughs> with a painting. 
I guess you have new information about Dana for me? I might very well indeed, Miss Walker, but what if you told me first what that little investigation of yours has dug up about Dana? Um... Let's see, Leon was on the run, Dana left for a sanatorium. Straight to the point? I don't even know what that means. Well, so let's say Dana left for a sanatorium and hopefully we'll get the opportunity to also say that Leon was on the run. I discovered today that Dana became pregnant that summer of 37. Leon was the father. So her parents decided to hide her in a sanatorium outside town. Which I assume saved her from the night of the brown shadow pogroms in Wagen. You assume right, but her parents on the other hand. Yes, I heard they didn't make it. Poor bastards, if you'll pardon my French. Okay, Leon was on the run. I know Dana was very concerned about Leon being on the run after the death of that scientist, Herr Berger. I, I can't blame her. How could he survive through the winter all alone in the mountains in a strange country? How could he? That's exactly the right question, Miss Walker. That origin expedition in Baltayar. What a mess that was. So, that's basically all I know. Can you tell me what happened to Dana after she left for the sanatorium to have her baby? I must confess, Miss Walker, that I was afraid you might overlook some of the painful information here, which is clearly the case. What do you mean? I... look, I think it would be best if we stay in this carriage until the very end. I know it is an odd request uh -oh. to make, but you really must see this for yourself. Well, I... Until then, I recommend you look outside the window. I guarantee it'll be worth your while. Okay, the very end of the tram is what? The mountain refuge? Maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe we're not going to the guest house after all. Maybe we're going underwater. <laughs> what? We're going underwater. What? How are we going across the lake? The tram turned into a boat. What? What? Okay, Baden Island. That was completely unexpected. <laughs> it's an amphibious tram. <laughs> How does it, how does it keep from getting rusty? Well, I guess we're not going to the guest house. I'm sorry, Miss Walker, but chasing you around that bridge was more exhausting than I thought. That's okay. I can wait. Ah, nonsense. I know how eager you are to find out about Dana. So you go first. I'll meet you at section 08. I'll come meet you there. Uh... 
Um, I don't think we should leave her there. No, no, no. I'm gonna insist that she come with us. Can't you just tell me what we're doing here? I know it must seem cruel, speaking in riddles and keeping up all this mystery like a bloody fortune teller. But I promise, you must see for yourself. Okay. Okay then. And don't forget, miss. Section 08. Find it, and I'll meet you there. Section 08. I'm gonna write that Oof. down. Cold as hell here. Okay, so we didn't go to the guest house. <laughs> we came here instead. And uh, I think I'm going to leave it here. I think I'm going to end it here. That was a super, super surprising twist. Blame Dan for not going to the guest house. <laughs> yeah, but this is better than going to the guest house. This is better than that. So let's see where we're at with the bear cam. We have... 31,000 beans raised for the bear cam. We're at 26%. You guys have 23 days left now. Ah, uh, Dan, I am loving this game so much. Like, I can't believe it. Like, every time I think, like, okay, we must be getting near, you know, the end or whatever. Ah, uh, thanks, Dan! Then, you know, something new happens and something unexpected happens. And, yeah, it's just, like, psh. <laughs> my mind is blown <sighs> anyhow guys thank you very much for joining me tonight i will continue with this tomorrow i'm gonna leave you hanging until then i'll be hanging until then too <laughs> have a good night see you later bye bye